Good evening. <laughs> Welcome back to what is turning out to be a madhouse. A real madhouse. Good evening, Reckons. Good to see you, my friend. As I said, I need people behind the team now. And I, I have done so much thinking about this and probably overthought it to the extent where whatever I'm going to do now is not going to make any difference. But I've had some of you guys write back, suggest things. But when I look at what's happened, I mean, they they had an absolutely disastrous start to the season. This is where I came in. And so to say that I was thinking perhaps I got hired by Juventus way too early in my career and it was all about not being able to do the job. But nah, we proved we could do the job and we <laughs> turned them completely around from that disastrous start to the season that they had. And now this is what we're looking at. It suddenly stopped and... We changed the tactic. We didn't hang about here. We changed the tactic very early. We changed it again. We changed it again since. We've changed the tactic three times um, until I went back thinking it was something that I said to the players, trust the process. Well, it wasn't that either. And the results in the last three games clearly show it wasn't that either. So I don't know what it is. But I do remember one of the tactic changes worked. And against um, Parthenope... If you remember back to when we played Parthenope, I just came up with this very weird three at the back shape, completely against what we were actually doing at the time. And we won by five goals to one. And it was the game after this one that we drew nil-nil. And I do remember that game because the assistant had said we need to play with wingers because Luz was a key member of the team and we had to find a place for him. So I went along with that. It was still three at the back. But if you remember, it had that very, very odd wing backs on support and <laughs> wingers on attack. And so um, I changed some of the roles to the shape that he had um, that he had suggested. And we got the draw, but we didn't play very well. Uh, no, it was a nil-nil, um, the Udinese game. Sorry, I'm looking in the wrong place. We got the, a nil-nil draw and we didn't play very well. And then we went back to what we were doing before. <laughs> and uh, I decided, OK, let's change the tactic again. It's That's not going to work. Um, something's got to work. And the only success we had was that 5-1 victory against um, Parthenope. We have to like take out this... Because when I ran my tests, um, following what was going on, we played this game 15 times and we won this game 15 times, regardless of what was going on around it. So we take that out. That was coded in. We were going to win that. Um, but whatever is going on, the only success we had was here. And that was using this system, which I've reloaded. But now the game has... <laughs> as we were in an international break, the game has realised, oh my goodness me, he's changed it back to that. Because now I had two strikers and it's gone and injured another one. So I have two of my top strikers injured now. So I'm playing Chiesa and Campbellat. Campbellat up front. Campbellat is not a very good player, but that's all I've got. And I am not going to do what the game was forcing me to do now and change back. I'm going to go with this. If it worked once, it might work again. And can Palat, he can score goals. He's young. He can't, he's, he scored goals before. So give him a shot. And so we're going to go with this setup and see if that makes any difference. I'm just going to check. I've got all the preferences set right. Uh, we don't want sound, and it's uncomprehensive, and so we're ready to rock and roll. And let's go and play this, this match and see what happens. <laughs> and, uh, who knows what's going to happen? The, I just feel like the game has developed a mind of its own since the update, and whatever I do doesn't seem to make any difference. And um, prior to that, 
everything I touch turned to gold. But now everything gold that I touch turns to rust. Big game this. Last Dio, who are in sixth. Um, Chiesa, he wants to switch those around, does he? But I'm not playing Dusan. He's still out. He's not training for a week. You can't play him. And he wants Moretti in, who's absolutely exhausted for Rabio. We'll check on that now. Um, balanced is probably a good idea. And uh, let's check on Rabio or Moretti. Moretti has done well in the international break. But whether or not he's fit is another matter. He's played very, very uh, recently and he might not be 100% fit. And he's not fit. So um, bringing him in is probably not a good idea. I have got a midfield we can play. Um, it's, it's really weird what is going on, to be perfectly honest. And uh, thanks for rooting for us, Reckons. Oh, boy, it's going to be... Uh, I want to see a marked improvement. It's probably a good thing to say, but I do want to be... I've got the faith in you stuff. And let's go and see what happens. We absolutely desperately need to win. I'm not quite sure what's going on here because it's very dark on the pitch and the floodlights seem to have failed. <laughs> and uh, I'm not quite sure what, whether it's bad weather, whether it's... um whether it's a glitch again, because we've also been having a lot of glitches. <laughs> and, uh, maybe I don't know what it is, but it's got suddenly very dark. Maybe thunderstorm in the offing or the floodlights are not doing a very good job. Who knows? But what we do need is a very good performance from these boys today. And hopefully we'll get that. And the change back to what gave us the only victory oops, is going to prove that this is how we need to play from now on why that would happen though i don't know i'm not quite sure best wishes to alco space cadet yep no problem hope he does really well <laughs> there you go campolat has scored we're a goal up <laughs> i don't know what this game is doing <laughs> and uh Maybe the injury was something I should look on as fortunate. Maybe the game was helping me out, saying you've got to play Campalat because he's going to score lots of goals. So in order to get me to play Campalat, it injured my other striker. But we're a goal up, and that's about as good a start as I could have hoped for. But we've got to maintain it over 90 minutes. And they still need a very good performance. I mean, it's quite traditional for a, an Italian team to play three at the back. But we were flying when we were playing the original tactic. We were absolutely flying. And it it is a problem that I have with the game. Why do you need to change the tactic when you're absolutely flying? Um, and in fact... You wouldn't just get no notice that the tactics need changing. You'd have a team meeting. The team would come to you and say, hey, boss, I don't think this tactic's working very well. Oof. At which point I would have replied to them, excuse me, because we've just won 16 out of 18 games and drew the other two. So what do you mean it's not working? <laughs> so it's all very crazy. Um, but we're definitely dominating this game against Lazio in the early stages. And we are creating chances. We've taken one. We're creating a lot of set pieces. And there's another chance. And that was a good save. <laughs> and I think that was Campbellet as well, was it? No, it was Chiesa this time. Lurking on the edge of the box. But I do need to get some wins under the belt here. Otherwise, we're going to be in serious trouble. I mean, why Juventus even hired me is a mystery to me. I'd only ever won League Two in England. And they'd made their mind up. I was the man for the job. And in three days, here I was. <laughs> three days after the incumbent manager left, I was at Juventus. And so it all is very odd what's going on. 
Uh, Juventus in real life would never have looked at me. <laughs> All I'd done was win League Two with Notts County. Uh, so the whole th save is rather odd. But here they come. <laughs> and it's deflected. It has been given as offside. So maybe three at the back gives us a better... Hey, Eric, how are you doing? And here's Campbell at again. Oof, he's, he's having the game of his life at the moment. He looks very dangerous in those positions at the edge of the box. If he can find a man now and into the box... At the moment, we are absolutely camped in their half. There's absolutely nothing it seems to worry about. They have to come out. We've already scored a goal, so it's, we don't have to change anything. But we are absolutely camped in their half by the look of it. And we need to maintain that. And there is a, like, I did set the you boys a challenge at the end of the last episode. And some have come back, four people have come back with results with different tactics, all sorts of different tactics. And the results have been pretty good. <laughs> and it's now 2-0. And who needs Dusan and Gluck, eh? <laughs> it's now 2-0. And all those results might be just that this is the point at which we're going to recover. Who knows? <laughs> that it probably would have been okay if I'd played the original tactic. I really don't know. And I'm not going to overthink it anymore. It's just the way it is. <laughs> and uh, we have to just accept the way it is. But Lazio haven't got off the bus yet. They, <laughs> they haven't um, heard the alarm clock for the matches ready to start. And they need to do something. If I was their manager, I'd be absolutely furious with them. Especially as we have our two reserve strikers playing up top. And two even more reserve strikers on the bench. And one striker who's injured. But at the moment, I mean, it, it looks like we're just dominating the ball. Although we haven't had the possession... But it, it, the graphics are not representing what the stats are saying, but we are camped in their half. And he, <laughs> he lost control of himself there, Campbell at. <laughs> he just like the excitement of a young boy. <laughs> he just let loose from nowhere. But it's good, the exuberance of youth. Let's get number three. Oh, so close. 3 nil, and I'd pretty much say the game is done. And you can see the extent of the, the, the domination that we've had. They're a little bit making me a little bit nervous down the left-hand side. Beanie might be someone I have to keep an eye on. Try to stop him getting the ball or at least take him out of the game. I'll ask my assistant, see if he's noticed anything. Beanie, he's, he's, he's not too worried about him. I might be a little bit. It's, it's not the most creative player. That's why he's probably not too worried about him. But I think I'll close him down in case he tries a long pop. The right foot and a hard tackle seems about right. Because he's the only one who's actually um, given us any jip here. But 2-0 is never the end of the game. 3-0, and I'll be very optimistic. And Campbell's having a tidy little game there. Holding the ball up nicely. He's playing as the deep-lying forward. No, I played him as the advance forward in the end, um, given the responsibility to Chiesa of distributing the ball as the deep-lying forward. So Campbell is 
he's free to just chase the ball down. And we do have an injury to the opposition there. Do I have any yellow cards? No, I don't have any yellow cards. How are you doing, Eric? And then we will hopefully go on and win this game and go on and win all the other games after it. That's my plan. <laughs> I don't know if it will work, but uh, that's the plan. Let's get back into the groove here. I think we need to hard tackle him, let him know that he's in a game. Well done, well done. Lovely bit of pressing, bit of pressure. I like a high trigger press. If your team's got lots of stamina, I like a really high trigger press. Counter press, hmm, not always, but a good high, much higher trigger press. Get them in the face of the opposition. So who is that boy that is injured? Has he gone off now? Has he gone off? Why has he got that next to him? Zakagni. So I think he probably needs to be hard tackled. So we're going to do that as well. We don't want to give him any space now. Oh, he's already being hard tackled. Has he got a weaker foot? No. So we're already doing the job on him. It's probably why he got injured. <laughs> Not my fault. I don't send the boys out to hurt people. Sometimes I do, though. <laughs> Let's make it three, boys. Lazio look like they are in a right mess. Oh, come on, referee. Absolutely dreadful. Send him off. Lazio really look like they're in a mess. Chiesa's tired. He's been on international duty as well, so he's come back a little bit tired. Almost, almost, Fagioli. So it isn't actually looking that bad. How will that affect things? We'll still be in 10th, but closing the gap. If I could take the full-time whistle now, I'd take it. These are very nervy times, but Chiesa has made it 3-0. And I think that's got to be it. And now I really don't understand this game. <laughs> Where did this come from? Just because I'm playing now three at the back rather than two at the back. <laughs> and the two at the back worked for so long. And I actually am struggling to play three at the back because I've got an injured centre-back. I've got five centre-backs. Only three of them are quality centre-backs. Two, One of them's a youngster and one's injured. <laughs> so three at the back is difficult. Something to bear in mind for the transfer window, though. <laughs> He's doing all right for a very injured player. His uh, little heart there has gone down to almost nothing. Lazio, who are in form at the moment, have just not turned up. Our low crosses into that area have just connected. I have been thinking about that, Mr. Assistant. We are creating a lot of set pieces, and I've been thinking about it. But I don't think we need to do anything at the moment about it because we're totally dominating the match. And we're scoring goals, so I don't think that we need to change anything that we're doing at the moment. But I have been thinking about that, Mr. Assistant. Very nice of you to bring it to my attention. Something sensible for a change. They are looking to counter-attack on us. And I'm guessing that in the second half they're going to come out at us and try and get the goals that they need. 
Oh, goalkeeper. He's someone I'm thinking of selling in the summer window. There's got to be better goalkeepers I can get than him. There's a number of other players who will have to go. I'm not sure Rabio is good enough for Juventus. So he might have to go in the summer window. If I'm still here, then I will only not be here if we get relegated. And I don't think we're going to get relegated. And there's that through ball again. I have to be very careful with that. Because they are pushing that through ball through the middle. And he is on cover. And we have got enough pace at the back. So we should be okay. And they're getting a series of set pieces themselves. And I don't like this because I don't like defending set pieces. But at 3-0, I've got to think this game is over. Come on, goalkeeper. And that is it, half time. 3-0 up. Where did that come from, boys? <laughs> Where did that come from? Looking at the stats, we've pretty much we've pretty much murdered them. We're totally <clears throat> camped in their half, pretty much. We have a good spread across the pitch of t in terms of attacking momentum. So I think we're doing all right. The score says we are doing okay. So I am happy. For a change, you're getting your <laughs> shots on target. And um, let's go out there, get some more on target, and let's really bury this game. I'm not one who settles for 3-0. I want 5. And here they come. They are going to play this counter-attack. And I am going to drop the line back a little bit. To try and stop that diagonal through ball. That will come at some point. Because I do suspect that they will equalise. They haven't really opened us up at all. Only two key passes they've managed to put together. So they haven't really opened us up at all. But that counter-attack is very dangerous. And my defence are prone to making errors. But goal number four will settle my nerves once and for all. Yeah, I'm thinking about that. This counter-attack, it is going to cost me eventually. While we're defending well, it's okay. But the players are not defending that great. According to their ratings. Oh, Baggioli. He's had a couple of shots now that he hasn't put away. Let's tell him to shoot less often. Look for the pass instead. He's had a few shots, which he's... One, he's blazed over the bar. Two, two have been saved. So what's happened there? Free kick. But at the moment, they are still not threatening. We've evened up the possession a little bit. But they will get their one shot on target and score. I'm pretty sure of that. Which is just to make me nervous. Defensively seems to be okay. We're all fit and healthy. The opposition are not fit and healthy. Make that your own. Well done, High and Hal. Still going to sell you in the summer, I think, though. Although, as usual, the summer transfer window will be done by you guys, not by me. I will just take whatever you give me. <laughs> and uh, we will do that when we get there. We'll let you guys do the summer transfer window and I'll pick one of the ones that come in. Um, well, I say I will pick it together. 
<laughs> we'll have a look at all of them and then pick one that we think is going to do the best job. So it won't be me doing the summer transfer window. It'll be you guys. And I think you've enjoyed doing that before. But there is a condition that Langstaff cannot be bought. <laughs> we, we, we've asked FM to remove his passport. And there is that counter-attack again. So I am going to pull the line back now. Because that is the what is the only way I can think of to stop those through balls for us to be a little deeper. Just be a little deeper and then that'll give you more time to deal with it. Go on, Locatelli, go on, son. Oh, bobbling around. Go on, go on, son. <laughs> I want this fourth goal and the fifth goal if you can, boys. Give me the four and five. And then I can go to the pub. <laughs> the goalkeeper was uncertain there. I, I really don't know where this has come from, to be quite frank. A simple move from four at the back to three at the back. And the tactic is not really something that I've worked on very much. It must be good, though. <laughs> I haven't really looked at player instructions. They're pretty much blank, I think. And maybe that's the key. No player instructions. They're coming back into the game, but have they left it too late? I suspect they have. I'm going to ask my assistant... change things a little bit and I can't see where they are a danger so they're gonna if they get a goal it's gonna be just a lucky goal as nobody is penetrating us really <laughs> I don't know if pulling the line back is actually preventing them. Whatever they're doing, that's not the answer. So we'll push it back up again. That is not the answer. We need to be back in their half. All our players back in their half. And then it's time to make some subbies. Nobody's having a bad game. It's just going to come down to tiredness. Chiesa's tired. Bremer might need a rest. Good tackle. Let's just drop them a bit of encouragement. Might need to be defensive substitutions. Tack is playing really well and is not particularly tired apart from Chiesa. Midfield is looking quite fresh. But we're not winning that second ball at the moment in midfield. Something I'll keep an eye on. What's he given there? Free kick? Over robust Rabio.
Even my goalkeeper's having a good game today, which is quite surprising. Uh, so just after I said I'm definitely selling him. Definitely problems on the flanks, but we seem to be coping with them really well. Come on, Campbellat. And there's the fourth. Oh, it's going to be offside, is it? <laughs> I thought we'd got the fourth. You know, it's given. What a lovely counter-attack. And Campbellat, he actually used his head there. He did quite well. Nice pass. Good movement. Good finish, 4-0. And I have no idea where this has come from. Absolutely no idea. It's one of those little quirks of the game, I guess. Oh, Lindelof is playing for Lazio, is he? Lindelof. No wonder they're poor defensively. FM's got that right. He must be getting on, Lindelof, because we're in season one. I think we're in season six, are we? He must be getting on a bit now, Lindelof. Let's make some subbies after this highlight. Some of the boys are starting to look a bit tired, especially Chiesa. I knew they'd get one back. So let's make some substitutions. Chiesa's got to come off. Gluck, returning to injury in two days. Yeah, let's give him a run out. Probably be okay. I want to put another young kid up there. I could put play Mikel... But he's not 100% fit either. I want to try and solidify the midfield. I know they're playing well. Um, Bremer probably does need... So I'm going to put Danilo on. And play him as a left-sided centre-back. Probably needs a rest. Lanelli needs a rest. Zanoli can come on there. And then the other two can be midfield changes. We'll do one now. Bring on Ben Seguir, I think, who can play here. And then we'll just leave it at that for now. Kind of knew they were going to get one goal from these counter-attacks they've been mounting. It wasn't going to last forever. And they have been the dominant force in the second half. Certainly second half syndrome has kicked in there. <laughs> what was that all about? They certainly come back, come back at us. I think what I might do is come off the counter press, keep the trigger press high, but come off the counter press. It's probably a good idea. They might be just playing the ball around us at the back. Especially as we've got Gluck injured up there. 
We'll just come off the counter press. Conserve a bit of energy. Are they going to get three goals? I wouldn't have thought so. The game's never going to be that cruel. Just going to have a look at... Beanie is a problem. So let's have a look at Beanie. We're going to hard tackle him. And I think we'll start by tight marking him. Get someone to tight mark him. And then these two boys I'm going to tight mark as well. Try and stop these through balls that they're that they're playing. Come on, he needs you need to be on him. That's the that's the key to it. There's another one of the you've got to tight mark those two centre mids. They'd played better, we'd have been in trouble. But maybe now we'll type mark them and take them out of the game. Come on, let's get a five. Number five will be very nice. Make the manager happy. Go on, hit it. It's in. It's in as well. We've got number five. An own goal. But I'll take that. Ben Seguir looks like he wants to claim it. But it's been given as an own goal. 5-1, I'll take that. I don't know where this has come from, boys. I don't know. Um, is As I said, it's a tactic I haven't worked on much. He was offside, actually. Lucky it went off the defender, not him. Because he was actually offside. So I think that's pretty much it. We're now going to close down the flanks. Oops. Let's close down the flanks now. And be a little bit more defensively minded, boys. But they have dominated the second half. And they have created a lot of opportunities. We've just held them out. And we've caught them on the counter. Just like this, we've caught them on the counter again. Oh, what a chance. We've still got one more sub I can make. Fagioli's very tired. Zalazar can replace Fagioli. Oscar has made it through that 30 minutes, 25 minutes or 30 minutes so far. And we will have, hopefully, Dusan back very soon. But we do have to play AC Milan next, which is not going to be like this, a stroll in the park. AC Milan are a different kettle of fish. Binny has gone quiet now. It's this Arkitogu. Let's have a look at him. Let's type mark him. Let's just put someone on him. We have actually taken the momentum, the momentum back off them now and we are back in control. 
Looking at our players, we haven't been that great. We've just caught them on the counter-attack. But where did this 5-1 come from? The last time I changed it to this tactic, we also won 5-1. <laughs> so I don't understand this game. I think I've gone past trying to understand it. Actually, that probably is not a bad suggestion as we're getting tired. Nice work. So now we're up in 10th and we're four, four points behind the European spots now. AC Milan are in 12th, so they are having a pretty poor season. So I think we do have a chance against AC Milan. And games, how many games are like every two days or whatever? What? So we have Wednesday, Sunday and Sunday. We get a rest after Sal Salonitana. Salonitana, then there's a rest of a week. And then there's a week again. So it's just this period where we're playing a lot of games. Milan is apparently, that's the one that was rearranged, wasn't it? Chiesa, magnificent. Three, a hat trick. And did the job, we did the job without Dusan. And Dusan is, yeah, he's got only got 16 goals. It's nothing to write home about. AC Milan and Salonitar now. So let's go and play AC Milan. <coughs> it's very strange that Milan are in 12th. I would, I would not be expecting at this point in the season that Milan are in 12th. I would not be expecting in real life that Juventus are in 10th. But Milan is even more surprising to me than Juventus. Now, that's a name. Uh, for F2ISL. <laughs> Is that like a, a code for letters? Can I call you Faisal? <laughs> I am 66 now. 66 years old. And I've been playing this game for a long time. <laughs> and, um, sometimes I feel, though, like I'm a beginner. Like very recently. <laughs> oh boy. There again, the through balls, good acceleration, good pace. I'm wondering about the high, the very high line. That might not be a good idea. The pace is a little scary. They're very strong, good stamina, create good set pieces, good passes of the ball, apart from that. Low proportion, low proportion of first contacts from set pieces. Well, that worked for me before, so we will... Play for set pieces. I certainly don't want to get stuck in. Play for set pieces worked for me before. <clears throat> in that very famous victory against Inter Milan. They're not very aggressive. But I don't want to get stuck in on them. They're very brave and strong, so it doesn't make any sense. So we'll just go with a little tweak to the line, just to try and give us more time on the ball at the back. And this is getting harder and harder to actually move up. These teams at the bottom, they must be suffering because everybody around here keeps winning.
So this is going to be probably the game that defines the season. We shall find out. Molero has got himself injured now. It's not too big a miss, that. He's an attacking mid, natural attacking mid, and we're not playing with attacking mids at the moment. It's what to do with Luss. It's probably the best thing to do with Luss is sell him. If we're going to stay in this shape, I'm not going to argue with that. Dusan probably can come back. Now he's still injured. Two days. I'm going to take a chance on him. Although Gluck, yeah, Gluck is still tired. I'm going to take a chance on Dusan. And then Miretti definitely can come in. I'm not too impressed with Rabio. He's not even training very well. Where is Miretti? Rabio can go on the bench. It is kind of nice to have Dusan back. I'm actually going to agree with him. He's probably better to a better one to play as the DLF. But he might get clobbered a bit playing as the DLF. But he doesn't have to do as much running as the attacking forward, the advance forward. Fair enough. Good suggestions, Mr. Assistant. Absolutely, Matthew. Let's kick some balls. Well, we've won the first one. Can we sustain it, though? And we are playing with this tactic that I noticed last time. During all that shambles that we went through... Parthenope, we beat 5-1, and we used this three at the back. It's the only time we used this three at the back tactic, and it's the only time we won, apart from the give me, the Panathinaikos give me. And now we've gone back to that three at the back, and we've won 5-1 again. Hey, Space Cadet, how are you doing? You have a race tomorrow, I believe. Good luck in the race, mate. Chiesa, Luz is... Uh, doesn't mention Dusan there. Yes, it does. He's capable of playing. According to my assistant, he is capable of playing. Higher tempo. I'm actually on a higher tempo at the moment. Gluck instead of Dusan. Interesting call. Yeah, you're probably right. It's probably warning me that Dusan could get injured. So let's keep Dusan on the bench. Might give him a run out from the bench. Gluck can play a decent game up there. And I just don't want Dusan injured again we are playing with a high tempo anyway so i don't know what he means when he says play at a high tempo because i'm already there um i'm not quite sure what he means by that so he probably is trying to tell me something but i don't know what he means i'm good space cadet Um, pretty good, especially as we have won a game for the first time in a long, long time. And not only won it, but we hammered them. Beat them on the counter-attack, really. Keep up the old lies. I have faith in you. I used to have faith in you. There should be an option for that. But we do need to deal with this pace that they have. 
But hopefully just dropping the line back a shade will do the trick on that one. AC Milan, big, big game. A game that might define the season from here. I'll take a draw. I actually will take a draw in this one if we can get a draw and can win the next one, then we're back on course. But lose this one and then all sorts of chaos and confusion <laughs> reigns again. Ayala has just got made his international debut. He's only 18. He's a wonder kid. He's going to be a very good player, Ayala. Just made his debut in the international break and he got an 8.7 on his debut. Come on, boys. Let's get a really good start here. But Dusan is an option off the bench. But we need to be zipping the ball around a little bit. I wonder, because normally I don't like this, putting the speed up to that level. I really don't like it when you put the speed up. It doesn't look natural to me. No, it doesn't look natural at all. Come on, boys, come on. It's only AC Milan. You think about... This is probably the biggest game of my managerial career so far, having been with Notts County and Bournemouth, to be playing against AC Milan. It's quite a big moment, probably, for a manager. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Here we go. That's given offside, is it? But what is that about? Chies is injured now. Why is it attacking my strikers? Why are you injuring all my strikers? Let's have a look what happens to him. Yeah, he's gone. Ah, uh, Dusan it is then. Another injured striker coming onto the pitch. I wasn't expecting that after seven minutes. But it's a fairly even Stevens affair at the moment. It's just come on, boys! Just one goal, and we'll be on our way again. Oh, that was close! Oh, my lord! We're pushing them back, so it's looking good. We're actually getting in their face a bit. Watching this geezer. Space on the left hand side. They might be trying to exploit. But so far so good. Just need to get some shots on target boys. You were really good last game. And now you can't hit a barn door now. <laughs> Oh, boy. He is wide, isn't he? He's wider than the rest of them. He's over here. I have to keep an eye on him. Theo. He's very wide. Come on. Come on, chance. Oh. I thought that was it. I thought that was it. Come on, we are actually beginning to dominate this game now. Just don't get caught on the break. I know FM likes to do that to you. Is that really is the most dangerous time in FM is when you're attacking. You are at your most vulnerable. It's when you get caught the most in transition when you're attacking. 
and it's probably much the same in real life you get comfortable you're going forward they pinch the ball and suddenly you're a goal behind and I saw that actually again with um, the Liverpool game on the weekend that's exactly what happened they kept out get having the ball being pinched when they were going forward nice tackle come on Dusan lovely pass come on Moretti go on get the ball off him Dusan's very deep Oh, Champions League is a tough call. It could be any number of clubs. I don't think there's one club that stands out that you think are definitely going to win it. And looking at the first leg, I mean, there's a lot of depends, like Manchester City, Real Madrid, um, Bayern Munich... There's a lot of depends on the second leg of... Is it the quarterfinals that's happening at the moment? Hardcore? I, I really couldn't answer that. Who do you think, Eric? Come on, Dusan. Come on, son. Who do you think, Eric? I, do, I really don't know. Um, this is, and that's what makes it good, I suppose, is that you actually don't know. There's no one standout candidate. And that I think, and like the Premier League, any one of three or four could win it. City will be there or thereabouts. I think City will win their second leg. Um, I think they probably got that now. Let's just have a look here. Puffundi, Andre. Let's ask the assistant to have a little reassess. We don't do never press. Puffundi. Puffundi, what are you like? Definitely right foot and a hard tackle. And then... Andre is not being picked up at all and he does pass the ball quite nicely. Let's take him out of the game. I'd, uh, it's really difficult. If you'd asked me last year, I'd have said Manchester City. <laughs> so that would have been... Uh... But this year, it's really hard to call. I don't think Manchester City are as strong this year. Let's give them a shout. Let's encourage them. Come on. Perella, Perola is not having his best game and neither is Bremer. Probably a good idea, Mr. Assistant. We are flashing the ball around. Oh. We're not getting our shots on target. Get it closer. I'm watching. I mean, we haven't created enough to see where our crossing is coming from. Well done, well done. Who is that? Cambiasso. Come on, son. Yes, he's in the box. There's a chance and we have scored. Fagioli. We're a goal up against Milan. You're hoping that Real Madrid win, are you? I actually don't have access this year to the Champions League because that's on... Um, what is that on now? The other sports channel. I only have Now TV, which allows me the Premier League. I didn't realise they'd split it into two. So next year I will probably get both. I'm not paying a, a six-month subscription for two months of football or a month and a half of football. So when next season starts, I will sign up to the other one. So I'll have the whole lot next season but uh, this season I'll just be content seeing the Premier League out it's a shame um, 
they they split it. It's just a money making exercise. And why should the the viewer have to pay twice to see all the football? I don't know. Um, not a big fan of that, but it is what it is, and I'll probably have to fork out the extra forty quid for the new season for the Champions League, and not only the Champions League, the Europa League, as well. Come on, Juventus, come on, we got this. A little bit of encouragement must have helped them. And that that cross that Cambiasso put in is exactly where I want them crossing the ball from because that low cross from there is so difficult to defend. It's really difficult to defend from there. From out here... Crossing from here is easy to defend, but if you can get your fullbacks here, then that zipped ball across the six yard box creates a lot of goals. So that was exactly what I wanted him to be doing. And Milan have not really troubled us, despite all their pace and dribbling skills and their. Yeah, let's remind them. Let's go. Keep going. I'm a bit concerned about Dusan. He's not playing very well, but he looked to gain confidence. I don't think we need to do anything. We need to keep going, doing what we're doing. Always worries me. This, like the second half syndrome they introduced into FM24. That is horrific. You know the opposition are going to play better than you at the start of the second half. It's a given. I want to keep this momentum our side, not their side. Pafundi is becoming a little bit of a nuisance. Not too much, but a little bit. And maybe I'm going to ask someone to take him out. That's Locatelli. Hmm. Why is that not coming out? Locatelli should be in a good position to take him out. So, but it's not coming up. Who's actually been going to be targeted to mark him then they one of the center backs that wouldn't make any sense that would not make any sense at all no, the striker it's got to be him Perfundi get take him out probably tell me now he's being dragged out of his position but it just makes more sense than he's in the perfect place to mark him oh this is tense one nil ahead where are we as a result of that still in 10th it's really hard to move up the, ta the table in Italy Oh, that was rubbish. Who was that? Moretti. Calm down. I think I might just tell him. Calm down a little bit. Take your time. So I got my two forwards who are both struggling. One centre back who's not playing very well. Dusan also is not having his greatest game and neither is Gluck. Bayern will win the second leg against Arsenal. I think you're probably right. I, Arsenal are a good Premier League team, but I don't think they're a force in Europe yet. Moretti... 
He's actually playing quite well. I don't want to take him off. But I want to shout at them all. I want more. Defend well. And we closed that down very nicely with our press. Well, after this highlight, we'll make some changes. We'll just let the corner go, because I don't like making changes at a corner. Because the highlight goes on forever. <laughs> it's really quite weird. Let's make it 2-0, boys. Let's make it 2-0. I'll take a draw. I said before the game I'd take a draw. Gluck is very tired. So maybe it's time for Campalat. Where's Campalat this time? I didn't put him on the bench, did I? Why is he not on the bench? Idiot boy. So Mikel will have to play. Probably Mikel will be better out of the way, I think. We'll put Mikel there and Dusan can play as the deep lying forward. Can't see Campbellat anywhere there. He was surely should have been on the bench. Dusan is also tired. And I can't risk him getting injured. So oof. It's going to have to be. He it is. I was a bit concerned about that. Moretti, I'm not too bothered about. Bremer is not playing well. It's the second game that he's had where he hasn't played well. I will leave it at that. Come on, boys. So I'm really scraping the barrel now in terms of attackers. Did Campbell like, get suspended or is he injured? Why did I miss not having him on the bench? Maybe because my assistant took over again. Come on, boys, make it two. Good, good. See, that cross from out here didn't find any connection. It didn't get to the penalty spot. But if he crosses from here, it's much more deadly in FM. We've been much the better side, so don't do the dirty on me, FM. They've only had two shots. They had those very early on. And we've completely dominated, even without the ball. And that might be a passing, that might be a tempo thing. If we're moving the ball quickly, they're not connecting. And that's something we might consider towards the end of the game. Slow it down, connect. But I want two goals before I do that. What's the referee giving the corner? Come on, boys, you got this. You see, it is nowhere near good enough to be in this team. But that's all I got on the bench, I'm afraid. Good tackle, good tackle, Fagiola. They're coming back into it. But it's fairly even, Stevens. They are actually gaining momentum. Which is why I got a funny feeling this will end 1 1 unless I do something. Oh, what's happening here? Nice interception. Come on, counter attack. Let's go with the counter attack. Lovely pass. Come on, Moretti. Go on, son. Go on, you're in. Ball in the box. Oof. Bouncing around. I got a funny feeling. I'm going to ask my sister. Only Andre 
is, has even had a key pass. Cambiasso is tired. So let's give Cambiasso a break. And he's on a yellow card. And I'm going to ask the assistant, Andre, type mark him. And left foot. And hopefully that should be enough now. I might reduce the passing tempo as the game gets near the end. Because our passes are not... Although, hard to say that because our pass completion is 90%. That's pretty good. So our passes are connecting. So let's not do anything <coughs> rash here. Let's just watch what happens. Nice turn, Fagioli. Corner. This will be new territory. If we can win two on the bounce, this will be new territory <laughs> since, well, for about the last two months in this save. So this will be new territory for me. Come on, boys. But even if you win, you can't move up the table. That's what's quite interesting about this. If we win the third game, we'll move up the table. I'm pretty sure of it. Mikel, well done. Nicely done. Looked for support. Turned, looked for support. Didn't do anything silly. Go on, go. Go on, you're oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Pulisic is playing also for Milan. He is a dangerous player in FM. He's just come on. Where is he? He's now how old is he? 29 years. He's a very dangerous player. So we'll hard tackle him. And I think we'll tight mark him. I don't want to give him... He always scores against me. So we don't want to give him any room. Any chance to breathe here. Keep going, boys. Keep going. I'm going to slow the tempo down. Because I'm, I'm noticing that the boys are getting very tired. I don't want that pass into space on. I don't want the counter press anymore. Just try and conserve a little bit of energy. I don't want to mess with the lines because we've been the dominant team. And I want to stay the dominant team. And I think it's time to become a little bit more defensive. Put the wing backs on support. Close down so that we got a back five now and not a back three. So hopefully these boys will stay back. That's not good, but nicely done. Nicely done. Give them a shout, encourage them. Three minutes. Can we hold on? That's a nice ball into space. And he is, is in, have you got the composure, son? No, you haven't. But he's done well. He's turned. Come on, Lanelli. Fagioli having another shot. I'm pretty sure that was a shot, not a cross. Go on, Moretti. We'll take a corner. Take your time. I'm now going to time waste a lot. I don't care if they've changed their formation. We just need to just hold on for a minute. They're going more attacking, but playing with more discipline. I also don't know how my assistant manager works this out from what he can see. Because I can't work that out from here. Well done, well done. Take a shot, take a shot. 
That's okay. Put it into row Z. 20 seconds left. We deserve the victory. We pretty much had most of the match. We haven't had strikers fit. I think we deserve this. We've defended well without strikers. What was that, referee? What's happened to you? Oh, it's full time. We have got a second win. Ah, uh, we got the result. No, um, I'm going to say that one. And we're still in 10th. <laughs> Hopefully, if we win the next one, we can move up into the European spots. We are closing the gap a little bit. And we do have the bottom team next. But that's no guarantee. Chiesa, oh, six to eight weeks. Are you kidding me? It's going after my strikers. Six to eight weeks. So what strikers have I got left now? Yeah, he was on the bench, perfectly fit. So I've got Campalat. Dusan is back fit now. Chiesa, how long is he out for? He's, he's the one who's injured. Gluck is okay though, isn't he? This is bizarre. And we do have a week's break here, don't we? Uh, where am I? I want to go to the schedule. I think we have a week's break. No, only four days. So I'm going to give them all a rest again. Do sound survived, which is good. Gluck, I think, also can rest for a day. And if we can win against the bottom club now, it's possible we could get into the European places. Now, wouldn't that be a change? Isn't it interesting, Tequila? I'm playing in a tactic that there's no way they could be familiar with. But I did remember, Tequila, that we won. The last time I used it during all this nonsense was here against Parthenope. It was the only time I used that one, three at the back, and they won 5-1. Well, we started it tonight, and we won 5-1 again. <laughs> so isn't it just... Doesn't it make you just a little curious? <laughs> It makes me a lot curious. Why is he not on an intensive language course anyway? A demi could be as good as can be our so, could he? Mm. He's not showing it yet. Fagioli. I don't think he's been that good. Oh, he has, actually. So let's tell him. His form has been very good. Only slightly positive. Dusan is back in full training now. So hopefully he's back. I don't want to know about the, the Europa League results. I got beaten. I'm not really interested. Tottenham are going to win it anyway. I forgot it. I just pretty much know Tottenham will win the Europa League. This guy has five-star potential and he's 18 and getting all this game time. He's going to be a brilliant player. Going to be a brilliant player. So indeed, Tequila, we are back on track by the look of it with a tactic that I've not really worked on very much, which is kind of makes me think it's a bit odd. Spurs won it. Yeah, that's, I've got a funny feeling Spurs are going to win it. <laughs> i just got a funny feeling, Tequila. You kind of grow up with this game and you, try, you kind of get to know the game a little bit. And he's done well. I get nervous also about criticising these players. Six point... Is that 5.35? But I criticised him two weeks ago. 
probably not wise to criticise him again yet. Zanoli hasn't been criticised. And so he will be okay with it. But two weeks for Rabio is probably not long enough. Next week, if he doesn't train well, we'll give him a reminder. But I get very nervous about criticising their training because they don't react very well. Paladino, McKinney. No, we're not going to play McKinney. <clears throat> Rabio, Mikel, Yudis. Are you having a laugh? So Ayella and Paladino. I'll go along with that. Give Paladino a game. Where is Paladino? Campalat can come on the bench. Actually, Campalat can play instead of Chiesa. Dusan is fit, so no need to... I know it's uh, I I understand it from one point of view tequila in that um if you think about it you have a certain standard for your players and you they must reach that standard but the player may set himself a different standard so if you say like 7.2 I'm going to praise you because that's a that's my standard that's what I want you to do but the player and you have to check his personality if he's driven or really ambitious, his he might have set his standard higher. So I would avoid if, like, I know one of my players' personalities is um, driven, then I would avoid praising him for a seven point five. With an eight, yes, because if he's driven or or really determined and I'm really ambitious, he's going to set himself higher targets. So I do understand that. To a certain extent, but it does mean you've got to know your players. <laughs> and uh, I don't know all of them, so I do make errors. But sometimes it's just worth, if you've got time, and they they are due to be praised or criticised, just go and have a look at their personality. He's fairly ambitious. A 7 for him might not be good enough, but a 7.5 he'll be pleased with. He's met his standards. Um, so that's how I look at it. I don't know if there's anything in it. Um, but if you do check their personality and how driven they are and how ambitious they are, will often they will raise their own standards. And that's why they tell you then, well, I don't think I've been training very well at all because he hasn't met his own personal standards. So it's about knowing his personality and uh, going from there. You still often get it wrong, but if you know it... You've got a better chance of saying, if it's a 7.2, no, I won't bother doing it. Um, so it's it's kind of a little bit like that. That's how I look at it. But at the moment, because I'm playing too quick through the games, I don't know the players. Um, I do believe that Igarashi needs a game. And Zanoli. We do have to make some changes. And I agree with that. Ayala, Paladino and Pirola. Bremer needs a rest. Ayala, Pirola. Where's Paladino? There he is. So he can come in here. And Ayala can come here. Bremer can have a rest. And Grashi can play. Locatelli, Fagioli, Moretti. Probably need to change that a little bit Ben Sagir can come in and Zalazar for Fagioli and those are the changes that I'll make probably do need to give some boys a rest And this now becomes like um, a really, really important game. Playing against the bottom of the league team. And I think we should be more positive in our approach for this game. And do I have a report in yet? There's nothing really. They've got good concentration, that's all. So i got good players with on the ball, good on the off the ball. Then we should be okay. 
They don't, they're not very good at set pieces. I think we should play for set pieces. We should try that trick again. I don't think there's anything else we need to do. Play for set pieces, yeah. And I think we should be aggressive with them. I think probably that would be a good idea. They don't have any acceleration. They don't mark well their composures, but we need to be aggressive with them. Crossings, poor decisions are poor. First touch flare, they're not aggressive, so we need to be aggressive with them. Dribbling is poor, we can catch them on the ball. Anticipation is poor, tackling is poor. I think we need to get stuck in. We could c catch them on the ball and make them make mistakes. And play high up the pitch and hopefully... Yeah, it's something I thought about last year. I've been playing the game for years and it's only something I thought about last year, Dara. Um, but it could be related. That actual, they get uh, umpy with you because you've praised them could be ridiculous could be related to their personality and uh, that's not very good oh he's not much of a player anyway so it's just like i just feel that if they're they got a balanced personality or whatever they will just take your criticism but if they have higher standards for themselves then they're less likely to take the criticism because your standards then are different and why are we still in 11th? We still cannot get up the table. This is a crazy save. I want to win here, boys. Gluck is fit. Capable of playing. Does that change my... Yes, it does. Because now Dusan can go to the advance forward where he wants to be. And Gluck can come in here. Palacios Luz. Luz is going to get upset very soon because he's not playing. Rabio, that's fine. And uh, I guess Mikel makes up the bench. I know he's going to say change the team, but I want to rest some players. And I'm going to play positive. I don't want to be sitting off them here I want to be playing the game in their half I want us to be aggressive <sighs> I don't know about that <laughs> we shall see about I've got a funny feeling I might be getting a player sent off here uh, let's play Aras oh okay can't play. Uh, who can play? Rabio. Oh, he's already in the team. I guess uh, Palacios can come on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're doing that tequila, yeah. At least I think I changed it. <laughs> but my memory's like a sieve. So we're doing well now. We're on a good run. Let's go out there. Let's win this match. It's probably the wrong thing to say because we've only won two games. Big games. But probably the wrong thing to say. I should be just telling them we should be winning this game. But we'll see. That's a poor pass. Who is that? It's like these games that teams at the bottom of the league. They're much harder than teams at the top of the league. We have to pass better, that's for sure. And that is what? <laughs> what was that? Oh, boy. <laughs> Holly, we need to shout at them and focus. Come on. <laughs> this is not a walkover. 
Yeah, it's it's easy to do tequila. Very easy to do. And it's very easy to lose these games. Very easy to lose against the bo bottom team. And I don't, I mean, it's amazing how many games I have lost against teams in 18th, 19th and 20th in FM24. So many games I have lost. I am going to go back to balanced, he might be right, my assistant. Might have to defend a little bit more. So many games I've lost against teams 18th, 19th and 20th. More than I've won. Who is Enrique? About time we had a look at this. I'm going to tight mark him. If he's going to be a nuisance, then I'm going to tight mark you, Sunshine. Now, come on, boys. Focus. It's a big, big game. I want to get up into those European spots again. Oh, it was nearly an own goal. At least we've got some momentum back now. Little bit of momentum back. We're not playing very well, though. But I do have some big guns on the bench. So these complacent now composed. Go on, son. Into the box. Oh, come on. I want to actually put that instruction on for this game I want them to get as close to the goal as they can we can create chances and I don't want it too frantic I want them to control the ball outside the box rather than be too frantic out there oh that was an interesting free kick suddenly we've gone up to ninth but it's not good enough yet we've pretty much got the match momentum back now we've kept Enrique quiet well penalty ref chance it 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 but not over the bar you idiot <laughs> try to keep it down you fool uh, I don't know if I've done any player instructions for these. We watch this highlight and then Igrashi needs to be told to steady on. We're definitely the better team now. That's what I want. <laughs> That's what I want. I want them to be playing the ball around. Igrashi shoot less often. I don't want them being frantic outside the box. It's close. We're not just we're just not creating enough in the first half. Territorially we've dominated it. But created nothing. <laughs> And it only takes a moment. I'm going to ask Igrashi to be more direct with his passing. Get the ball up the field faster. Well done, goalkeeper. Perella wants to play at a lower tempo. Too bad. And, um, yeah, we, we can win this if we work hard as a team. I think probably I need to speak to some individuals here. Midfield, I can tell them all, you've not been 
You've not been controlling the game enough. Defenders, I'm going to say your defensive performance is good. So look to switch off. And attackers, you haven't been good enough. Why did they get upset? They haven't been good enough. <laughs> And I'm going to shout, demand more. This is a game we should be winning easy. But we're just not creating enough. I wonder why. And why does Fagioli decide today that he doesn't like the tempo? What about the last two games? He didn't complain in the last two games. I know it was Zanoli, wasn't it? I wonder if we can help him out a little bit. I think it is time to go at positive now. And he's not having that good a game, is he? So I wonder if we, he is playing well. Can we help him out a bit? He's going to trigger press. If we dribble less, take fewer risks. That oh, does. Should help him. They take the pressure off him a little bit. I don't know. If we slow him down. But we're just not creating enough chances. So what I will do, yeah, take play, set, play for set pieces off. And I might take run at defense off in a minute. So that they pass the ball around a little bit more. I mean, it's just been a nothing game, hasn't it? So let's take run at defence off and let's lower the tempo slightly. I want them zipping the ball around, but they're not. I don't want to slow it down. I don't want to play for set pieces. Well done, Oscar. Do some, do something. Do San do something. <laughs> but they're getting sloppy again, aren't they? they? Like they don't know what they're doing again. Time to bring the big guns on, I think. Defensively, we've been fine. Paladino's playing poorly. We're in. Do San. Oh. This is not good enough, is it? Dusan's playing poorly. I, he might as well have stayed injured, Dusan. <laughs> he's the way, he's come back and he's been absolutely lousy. I think Can Palat is a better player than him at the moment. Even though Can Palat's only 12, I think. <laughs> and is this the breakaway goal? Oh, it's so hard to beat these teams. There it is. There's the breakaway goal. <laughs> I don't know why does FM make it so hard for you to beat these teams. It's not real. Right, bring on the big guns. We'll go attacking. And we'll bring the big guns on. Or at least get rid of the rubbish. So he has to come off. Campbellat can come on. Now the best we can even hope for is a draw. Ben Sagir, Igrashi. You guys keep asking for playing time and then you go and do that. Ben Sagir, where's Moretti? 
Paladino rubbish. That's the last time you're playing, Sunshine. And we'll bring on Brema. And Pirola can come into that role. I'm going to have to play all five subs, aren't I? Goalkeeper's poor again. And... i got enough attacking going on. Let's just leave it at that for now. And shout at them. Back down to 11th. This game is relentless. Maybe, oh, maybe it's time to change the tactic. It used to be every two or three seasons. It's about every two or three games in FM24. Maybe I forgot it's time to change the tactic. We're now going to go into another bad run, are we? Right, we're going to go at them. I don't want any of those. We'll have a run at defence. Be more expressive. Pass into space, but don't worry about that. In transition, yeah, that's fine. Out of possession, that's fine. Now let's go at them. Unbelievable. My record against teams who are bottom of the league continues. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. Somebody's going to do a tutorial one day in on FM how to beat teams in 18th, 19th and 20th. I can't figure it out. I'm going to drop the lines back. I'm going to be I'm just going to try something. I'm going to come back to a mid block to pull them out and then I'm going to go balanced. to try and draw them out. If they're defending deep, then that might be what I have to do. And we'll berate them. It's not good enough. Locatelli is really tired. Fagioli can come up. I really don't understand this game sometimes. Maybe it is time to change the tactic again. I don't know what this save is up to. But they don't seem to be coming out. Might have to go defensive to try and pull them out. They have got five across the... Oh, what? No, we're not dis destined to win this one. The game's decided already. <sighs> Unbelievable. Just when I thought we were getting back to what we were doing before, now I don't believe it. It's the team at the bottom. I think I must have a probably... Only about a 20% win rate against teams in 18th, 19th and 20th. I don't know how to do it anymore. How to beat teams at the bottom. I lose them all. It must be about 20% my win rate against those teams. Just cannot win the, these games at all. I'd rather not play them. And we've lost this one as well, so that my win rate against them continues to be, well, go down probably 19% now. Uh, 
unbelievably bad against these teams. I have no idea how to do it. Good teams I can beat fairly easily in FM24, but I cannot beat teams at the bottom of the league. Cannot do it. I'm really not happy. So we're stuck again here. We still can't get into the... And maybe it's time to change the tactic again. Maybe we'll change the tactic for the next episode, which makes the whole game nonsense. If we change the tactic and then start winning again, then it makes the whole game nonsense. Right, that's it for this episode, guys. At least we won a couple. But I, I mean, if anybody does know how to beat teams in 18th, 19th or 20th, let me know. Because my record against them is dreadful. So thanks for coming along, guys. And um, hopefully we'll see some of you in the next episode. And I don't know. I really don't know. Do I change the tactic again or do I continue with this? Is it going to... If I continue with this, are we going to go into another slide? Or should I just change the tactic again? I have really no idea what to do. I'll be glad when the season's done. Okay, guys, thanks for coming. And uh, we will see you in the next one, hopefully, which will be on... Which will be on, what day is it today? Tuesday, is it? Or Wednesday? I have no idea. No idea what day it is. It's Tuesday, so we will see you on Thursday. Take care. Have a good night. Yeah, it was, Dara. But I knew it would happen. Bottom of the league team, after two good wins, I knew it would happen. Kind of predicted it. Um, okay, so see you guys in the next one. Thanks for coming. Don't forget to like before you leave. Help the channel to grow. And um, thanks to everybody, and we'll see you soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.